Ray Petlin talking about both some rain and a pretty big warm up. Ray. Yeah, we could be looking at the warmest temperatures we have seen yet this year coming up as we especially get into next week. So there is going to be some heat in the forecast, but there's also some rain and potentially a couple thunderstorms between now and that heat. Cloudy skies over Pittsburgh, and when it comes down to it, it's pretty comfortable. We have 63 degrees, cloudy skies, comfortable humidity levels. You don't notice humidity or sense it until those dew points are in the low 60s. Right now it's in the low 50s, so well within that comfortable range. And tonight we're going to see our temperatures dipping down into the mid to upper 50s. We're looking at 55 Butler in Indiana, 56 in Washington, Latrobe and Greensburg as well, 57 Connellsville and Pittsburgh, while Beaver could be dipping down to about 58 degrees. And tomorrow, high temperatures are going to find their way right back into the upper 60s and low 70s, so a few degrees shy of what we would consider normal for this time of year, which is 76, but it still should be comfortable. The deal is, is we're going to be bringing in some rain. So the next couple days come with those slightly below average temperatures and rain and thunderstorm chances. The potential for any rain or thunderstorms is rather small Friday. And we're looking dry into the weekend. With that the case, we are going to see these temperatures taking off. Now, sometimes we look ahead to the next couple of weeks, and this is a look towards June 7th through 11th. So once we get into next week and turn up the heat, just know that heat is likely going to be sticking around, and it's going to be a very warm to hot setup. And for reference, I don't say hot until it hits 90. That's, that's just a personal thing, but uh, we could be looking at temperatures easily making a run towards those 90. So we are going to be spicing up the temperatures big time next week. In the short term, we have some rain that's going to be coming in, and that's inching closer and closer to us, getting up towards uh, the mid-Ohio Valley, out towards Parkersburg, trying to inch up that way, and that will continue its uh, track towards us, and this won't arrive until about 4 5 a.m. So Futurecast here shows us that 5 a.m. look, spouty showers around. This is going to be more widespread through the morning commute, so 7 to 9, a pretty widespread rain across the area and some embedded areas where it could be a little steadier. Spotty showers and potentially a thunderstorm or two early afternoon, and then just some hit or miss rain for the later parts of the afternoon and into the evening. But we'll get another big push of moisture coming in tomorrow night and into Thursday. Thursday rain and thunderstorms and likely soggier than what we're getting tomorrow. Tonight, though, 57 degrees. That rain holding off until later. Light and variable winds, pretty comfortable. Tomorrow, 72. We're going to look for those scattered showers, potentially a rumble of thunder, but we're not anticipating any severe weather at this point. And you'll notice it's just a few showers here, a few showers there. It's not going to be a constant all day rain, but at any point during the day, there are going to be showers around the area. For the next seven days, these temperatures go from the lower 70s tomorrow on Thursday to the lower 80s on Friday, mid to upper 80s Saturday and Sunday. And Saturday and Sunday come with sunshine, so we're getting a little makeup for last weekend. Monday and Tuesday come with very warm temperatures as we're looking for highs in the upper 80s, but with the humidity, it's probably going to feel like the 90s. And with the heat and humidity on the way, even the showers and storms, make sure you get the KDK weather app. It has an interactive radar. One of my favorite features on that radar is there's a past and future button. If you hit that, you can get a future cast to see where those showers are going to go. Just go to your app store and Google Play and search CBS Pittsburgh.